Hello, my name is Bob, and I just wanted to give you a couple of quick tips and tricks to get you started on playing your trombone. So first for tonight, we're just going to talk about the mouthpiece. Um, as far as mouthpiece, the first thing is our placement. You want your placement to be as centered to your mouth as you can. Not too much left, not too much right, not too much up or down. So that kind of looks like this, right in the center. You don't want to have it like this. You don't want to have it like this. Try and be right in the center if you can. Second thing I want to make sure you understand is that when you play, you're going to really need to understand that your corners of your mouth need to stay firm and kind of slightly pulled down, kind of like you're frowning when you play the trombone. Um, what a lot of people find when they first start doing this is they haven't used these muscles in this way before and they find them to be very weak. And that's the reason that you're not really getting the sound that you want right away. A good way to help you get that strength that you need in your mouth real quick is to do what I like to do is a pencil trick. With a pencil, you can put the pencil in your mouth and what you want to do is you want to go erase your end and just barely in your mouth and you want to try and keep the pencil as straight as possible for as long as possible. Most people can only do this for about one minute, even professionals, because it puts a big strain on these muscles, but you'll see real quick that these muscles will start to burn when you do this right here. And if you do that a couple of times a day, just for 30 seconds or a minute, very quickly, your body will strengthen these muscles and it's going to make playing your trombone a lot easier. Next thing I want to talk about is breathing. Obviously, air is the gas that feeds your trombone. So you've got to breathe and you need to breathe right. Um, when you play your trombone, the best thing to do is get <clears throat> your instrument in position. And you want to breathe in through the corners. In through the corners and play. And when you do this, we're not going to breathe in and stop and hold it and then push it out real fast. We're going to breathe in and breathe out. It needs to be the same way you talk. You take a breath, you speak a sentence, you take a breath, you play the instrument. Last tip for tonight, if you can, as you're trying to learn, the thing that's going to help you progress the fastest and get the sound that you want is playing nice long notes. Not huffing and puffing, not just playing short notes, nice long notes, and for brass players we call these long tones. And long tones are the bread and butter for brass players. It's going to help you get the sound you want very quickly because it forces you to use your embouchure the right way for a long time. So with all those things together, firm corners, instrument centered, conversational breath, and just play long notes, a few weeks from now your sound is going to greatly improve. Oh. Uh...